My name is Matilius258 and welcome to Adobe Premiere Pro How To. In this I will give you 10 simple things to do to edit and create video within Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's begin. Number 1. Importing media. To import media, go to the bottom left window where it says import media to start. Double click and it will bring up a search window. Within this window, search through your computer to find the video files that you need and, and or the folder that contains all the video files that you need. Click Import Folder or Open to import the video into Adobe Premiere Pro. After this is done, it is possible that a bin will be created. A bin is basically a folder within Premiere Pro. Use bins to sort your video and audio. To create a bin, go to the bottom of the window where it says Create New Bin. Click on the bin and rename. Number 2. Creating a Sequence a sequence is basically the video within Premiere Pro. There are two ways to create a sequence. The first way is to drag from the library window to the Premiere window. In this window, you will be able to trim the video before creating a sequence. Or, simply drag the media from the library to the timeline. It will instantly create the sequence based on the specifications of the provided video. Number 3. Titles. Titles are basically the words and pictures and drawings within Premiere Pro. To create a title, go to the library, right click, New, Title, or simply use the shortcut, Control T. This will bring up an editing window where you can customize the title in itself. By using the button towards the top, you can preview the video before creating the title. The video behind the title will be wherever the tracker is. Number four, transitions. To make a transition, go to the effects column and go to video transitions. From here, select the transition you wish and simply drag and drop to the correct video. Number five, video effects. In the same column as the video transitions, video effects allows you to manipulate the video in itself. Select the correct effect that you wish to apply to the video, drag and drop, and it will open up a window towards the top of the screen. In this window you can specifically edit the effects of the video. Use the keyframe ability within the effects to create timestamps between effects. Number 6. Audio. To import audio is the same way as importing video. Use the import function of the library. You can also trim the audio within the previews window before importing it to the sequence. To change the volume of the audio within the sequence, go to the timeline. Using the keyframe ability, you can then manipulate the volume of the audio as time progresses. Number 7. Trimming and editing video. If there is a part within your video that you do not wish to have, use the Cut tool. This tool will allow you to edit the video at specified times. Simply click the part that has been cut out and delete. Drag and drop to put them back together. Number 8. Video position. Perhaps you want to put two videos on the same frame. Simply select the video that you want, go to the editing window that opens at the top, and go to motion. This will allow you to change the scale, the size, also change the position of the video at that time. Number 9. Time alteration. Time alteration allows you to speed up or slow down video depending on what you need. To do this, go to the left column within the timeline. You will find the Rate Stretch tool. Use this tool to stretch or shrink the specified video within the timeline. Word of warning, 
It is not always possible to stretch videos indefinitely or shrink them indefinitely. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Number 10. Exporting video. To export video, first click on the sequence in the timeline, then go to File, Export, Media. This will open a window where you can edit video settings and audio settings. By clicking on Output Name, you can name the video and also distinguish where it will go. You have two options. You can click Q, which will open up a separate program where you can queue encoding videos to do multiple at one time or you can just use export to do it directly. Once the program has finished exporting, the file will appear on your computer, which you can then watch. Useful tips. Use bins. Bins organize your work. Use bins. This is not negotiable. To open up the audio file in, within the timeline, simply go to the A1, A2, or A3 row and use your mouse to scroll in. If you wish to see the entire sequence of the timeline in one window, simply use the scroller at the bottom of the window and adjust accordingly. This also applies to the preview and uh, pre-trimming window. If the queue program fails to export a video, a sheep will ball at you. <laughs> Use markers to organize your video and mark important parts throughout your sequence. To create a marker, right click at the top of the timeline and select Add Marker. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and despite the extreme enormity of Premiere Pro, it is just like any other video editing software out there. Experiment, see what does and does not work, and have fun. Thank you for watching.